Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the dark and disturbing secrets hidden within some of Finland's small towns. These aren't your typical tourist destinations. These are places where shadows linger a little longer, where whispers of forgotten horrors echo through the streets and where the truth, well, the truth is far more sinister than fiction. Brace yourselves for a chilling journey as we uncover the unsettling mysteries lurking beneath the serene facade of these seemingly idyllic Finnish towns. Nestled deep in the heart of Finland's vast wilderness lies the village of Kulmala, a place so remote, so isolated, it's as if it exists on the very edge of reality. Surrounded by dense, ancient forests, Kulmala seems frozen in time, its wooden houses and cobblestone streets whispering tales of a simpler life. But beneath the surface of this tranquil village lies a chilling mystery. One cold winter's night, the entire population of Kulmala vanished without a trace. No signs of struggle, no farewell notes, no indication of where they might have gone. The houses were left untouched, meals sat half-eaten on tables, and the eerie silence that descended upon the village was deafening. Some say the villagers were taken by the spirits of the forest, while others believe something far more sinister occurred that fateful night. Whatever the truth may be, the mystery of Kulmala remains a chilling reminder that even in the most remote corners of the world, darkness can lurk just beneath the surface. Arauma, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is renowned for its colorful wooden architecture and rich maritime history. But beyond the charm of its cobblestone streets lies the unsettling stillness of the old cemetery. This ancient burial ground dating back centuries is more than just a final resting place. It's where the veil between the living and the dead seems to thin. Locals whisper of strange occurrences, of disembodied voices and shadowy figures. Legend has it that the cemetery is haunted by restless spirits of sailors lost at sea. Visitors report feeling an overwhelming sense of dread and hearing their names whispered on the wind. The old cemetery of Rama is a place where the past refuses to stay buried. Iso Cairo, a picturesque town known for its rolling hills and peaceful countryside, harbors a dark and bloody secret. It was here in the dead of winter that a series of gruesome murders shocked the nation. The victims, all seemingly unconnected, were found buried beneath the snow, their bodies mutilated beyond recognition. The killer, a shadowy figure known only as the Iso Cairo Butcher, was never caught, and the case remains one of Finland's most infamous unsolved mysteries. Some say the killer was a deranged local driven to madness by the long, dark winters, while others believe the murders were the work of a sinister outsider, someone passing through town with bloodlust in their heart. Whatever the truth may be, the blood-stained snow of Isokiro serves as a chilling reminder that even in the most idyllic of settings, evil can lurk just beneath the surface, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Surasari is said to be cursed, haunted by the spirits of those who died tragically on its shores. Legend has it that the island was once a place of pagan rituals, where ancient sacrifices were made to appease the gods. Narrator, Chapter 4 Just a stone's throw from the bustling streets of Helsinki lies the island of Sirasari, a tranquil oasis of lush forests and pristine beaches. But, uh, beneath its serene exterior lies a history steeped in folklore and superstition. These sacrifices, according to local lore, angered the spirits of the island who now roam its forests and beaches seeking revenge on the living. Visitors to Surasari have reported hearing disembodied whispers, feeling sudden drops in temperature, and even witnessing ghostly apparitions. Whether these stories are true or simply the product of overactive imaginations, one thing is certain. The island of Surasari is a place where the line between myth and reality blurs and where the past casts a long dark shadow over the present. Closed for decades, the hospital is now a decaying shell, its once grand halls and wards silent but for the echo of footsteps and the creak of rusted metal. But some say Lapinlati is far from empty. Narrator, Chapter 5. In the heart of Helsinki, overlooking the icy waters of the Baltic Sea, stands the imposing structure of the Lapinlati Psychiatric Hospital. Once a place of healing, Lapinlati has become synonymous with the horrors of mental illness and the unsettling mysteries that often surround such institutions. Legends abound of the tortured souls who died within its walls. 
their spirits forever trapped within the asylum's crumbling walls. Visitors and urban explorers have reported hearing screams echoing from the depths of the building, seeing shadowy figures lurking in the corridors, and feeling an overwhelming sense of dread, as if they are being watched by unseen eyes. Coley has become notorious for a series of unexplained disappearances. Hikers, campers, and even experienced outdoorsmen have vanished without a trace, their fates shrouded in mystery. Narrator, Chapter 6, Coley National Park, with its breathtaking vistas of lakes, forests, and rugged cliffs, is one of Finland's most popular natural wonders. But beneath its stunning beauty lies a dark and unsettling truth. Some whisper of ancient spirits, jealous guardians of the land who lure unsuspecting travelers to their doom. Others speak of more earthly dangers, of treacherous terrain and unpredictable weather that can quickly turn deadly. Whatever the explanation, the disappearances at Kohli National Park serve as a chilling reminder that even in the most beautiful of places, nature can be unforgiving, and that some mysteries are best left unsolved. Chapter 7. Deep in the Finnish countryside, shrouded in myth and legend, lies the Paselka Devil's Church, a massive rock formation said to be a place of ancient power and supernatural activity. Local folklore claims that the devil himself once used this imposing structure as a gathering place for his demonic followers, and that the echoes of their unholy rituals can still be heard to this day. Visitors have reported seeing strange lights dancing around the devil's church, flickering orbs of energy that seem to defy explanation. Some believe these lights are the spirits of those who made deals with the devil, their souls forever bound to this cursed place. Others speculate that the lights are a natural phenomenon, a trick of the light or an unusual atmospheric condition. Whatever their origin, the ghostly lights of Paselka Devil's Church continue to fascinate and frighten those who dare to venture into this remote and unsettling corner of Finland. Chapter 8. The Howling Caves of Punkaharju. Punkaharju, a region of breathtaking natural beauty known for its esker ridges and pristine lakes, is also home to a network of caves shrouded in mystery and legend. Local folklore whispers of the Howling Caves, so named for the eerie sounds that emanate from their depths, sounds like the mournful cries of lost souls or the chilling howls of unseen creatures. Legend has it that the caves are haunted by the spirits of those who died within their dark embrace, their restless souls forever trapped beneath the earth. Visitors have reported hearing disembodied whispers, feeling sudden drops in temperature, and even witnessing ghostly apparitions. Whether these stories are true or simply the product of overactive imaginations, one thing is certain. The howling caves of Punkaharju are a place where the line between myth and reality blurs and where the past casts a long, dark shadow over the present. Chapter 9. The Haunted Mansion of Luhisari. Luhisari Manor, an elegant 17th century estate surrounded by manicured gardens and tranquil waters, seems like a scene from a fairy tale. But behind its opulent facade lies a history steeped in tragedy and loss and a darkness that whispers through the centuries. Legend has it that Luhisari is haunted by the ghost of a young woman who died tragically within its walls, her heart broken by a forbidden love. Visitors and staff have reported seeing her spectral figure gliding through the halls, her mournful cries echoing through the empty rooms. Some say she is searching for her lost love, while others believe she is forever bound to the place where she experienced both great joy and unbearable sorrow. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, there's an undeniable air of melancholy that hangs over Luhisari Manor, a sense that the past is never truly gone, and that some stories continue to unfold long after the final chapter has been written. Chapter 10. The Lake Bottom Murders Our journey into the dark side of Finland concludes at the shores of Lake Bottom, scarred by one of the nation's most infamous unsolved crimes. In 1960, four teenagers went camping on the lake's idyllic shores. But their outing ended in unimaginable horror. An unknown assailant attacked, murdering three and leaving Niels Gustafsson scarred for life. The murders sent shockwaves through Finland. Despite numerous investigations, the killer was never caught. Some whisper of a jealous lover, others of a deranged drifter, and some even point to the supernatural. 
the lake bottom murders remind us that darkness can lurk in unexpected places. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more chilling content. Let us know in the comments which town's secret shocked you the most. Until next time, sleep tight. And remember, sometimes the most beautiful places hide the darkest secrets.